Warning, warning, warning. The following video you are about to see contains graphic content and lip smacking. Viewer discretion is advised. This is the epic meal I've been waiting for. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you'll see that I'm always mentioning chitlins because it's kind of the first exotic food that I've been eating since I was a little kid and I've always loved it till this very day. It's very labor intensive to cook. It's kind of on the expensive side, so I don't really eat it that much. Matter of fact, it's been years since I had some good chitlins, but today I'm finally done cooking them. So here I've got my bowl of rice this rice is super good it's long grain rice i cooked it in beef broth i got some bell pepper onion and celery in here the recipe said to get rid of it to dump it out but that's such a waste i like bell pepper celery and onions look at that amazing chitlin oh man i gotta get some chitlin juice can't be eating rice and chitlins with no chitlin juice oh come on oh i spilled some Whew, chitlins are on another level if you never had chitlins it's so hard to explain how good it is I got the recipe from allrecipes.com. I'ma link that in the description box if anyone wants to try it out. The thing about this is these are super juicy. They have so much flavor, it's just unbelievable. When I was growing up, I was around people that ate them. As I got a little bit older, you know, teenage years, none of my friends liked chitlins. I was the only person that liked chitlins. So I'ma go ahead and <laughs> bite into this first Magnificent chitlin. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. -mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. Now that is so, so good. I thought about this. Like, how can I tell people what chitlins are like? And the truth is, I can only try. I can't really explain, like, if you never had chitlins, I, I can't say, oh, it's pork, so it tastes like pork, because it doesn't taste like regular pork. Let's start with the texture. The best way I could describe the texture of a chitlin, I'd say the closest thing you've probably ever had to a chitlin, if you've never had actual chitlins before, that probably would be chicken skin. But it's not like a chicken skin. Like, I love chicken skin, but chicken skin is nowhere near as good as chitlin like the limpness of the chicken skin is like similar to a chitlin how it can be kind of you know very soft and limp once it's cooked but chitlins have a stronger texture like a bit more chewiness like if you if you were to boil a chicken skin it will become so soft it would probably break with the smallest little bit of handling but a chitlin is a little bit stronger you know kind of stretchy so i'd say it's similar to a chicken skin but with a stronger texture chicken skin is the closest thing i could say as far as the texture the flavor of chitlins are way way beyond chicken skin but oh mm. oh <laughs> Every time I bite into the chitlin, I get this big burst of juice. These are very well seasoned. The chitlins have little folds and so many nooks and crannies that hold the broth inside. When you bite into it, it's just like an explosion of really, really good broth. I can't believe so many people don't like them. And most of the time, I think it's because they haven't given them a chance or maybe they have tried them and had some that were not cooked well or maybe not cleaned well. I'm gonna go ahead and try this big hunk of onion. Mmm. That was one of the best pieces of onion I've ever had. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take a bite of this rice with the chitlin broth in it. Mm. It's so hot. 
Mm, that is flavorful. It's probably been maybe close to like eight years or so since I had some really good chitlins. Wow, this really brings back memories. If they didn't take so long to cook and weren't so expensive, I'd cook them a lot more often. Mmm. Mmm. That's just so amazing with like a very slight, slight chewiness, but so soft and stretchy. Let me see if I can show you guys what I mean when I say stretchy. I'm in a way it pulls apart. Like you can kind of see the fi long fibers of the meat just slowly pulling apart. Mm. I didn't even cut the celery and the onions and all that stuff up. Mm. Why would you want me to throw this away? Got a nice size chitlin right there. Drown it in some crystal hot sauce. Mm, that is so good. If my mom wasn't from New Orleans, I doubt I'd love chitlins so much, but since she was and she grew up eating them and uh, I was introduced to them at an early age, you know, I love them too. And I live in California. I was born and raised in California. And it seems like very, very few people out here eat them. <clears throat> this might get messy. See how this thing is dripping? I don't want that to get on my shirt. Mmm. 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 Let me get some more of that good rice. Mmm. Get another one of these big old chitlins. Oh, that was like unbelievably juicy, man. Even these onions are just so good. There's no other meat that has the flavor and the texture of chitlins. I rarely get to eat it. It's off the hook. Like some people eat groceries, but then they'll say, oh, when you talk about chitlins, like, I don't get it. Mm. This is the most tender, amazing meat. Now, in my opinion, the two best soul food dishes you can get are chitlins and gumbo, hands down. Big monster chitlin right here. It's the last one in my bowl. Now, I don't even know if it's really necessary to say this, but I'm assuming maybe there's like one or two people out there who don't know what chitlins are. So chitlins are the large intestine of a pig. Now we've got some rice and chitlin broth left. Mm. I know some people is gonna be looking like, oh, I can't do it, oh, chitlins, I can't do it. But the people that know, they're gonna be like, oh, I wish I had some chitlins. I've been craving these for such a long time and I finally have the meal that I wanted and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Mm. I cannot fully express how much I enjoyed that meal. Okay, so that's about it. Try some chitlins. I wanna thank everybody for watching. Now you can support the channel by clicking on one of the links in the description box and maybe think about making a purchase from 
Amazon, maybe make a dollar donation to the Patreon if you're able to, if you enjoy the content. That will be greatly appreciated, but it's not necessary. I'm going to still be back next week with another exotic food review. All right, I'm going to see you guys next week. Peace. I'm out. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency broadcast system.